Welcome to this short video about where in Africa to go to see the mountain gorillas. The mountain gorillas can be found in East Africa and the choice is between Rwanda and Uganda, with Congo not currently accessible to tourists. There are only about 1,000 silverbacks left in the wild across four parks, Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda, Varinga National Park in the Congo and both Bawindi Impenetrable Forest and Mahinga National Park in Uganda. When you go doesn't make any difference. Gorilla trekking is great year-round and Rwanda and Uganda have much the same climate. Technically, there is more chance of rain during March to May, but since the parks are in a rainforest, it can, and often does, rain at any time. Both Rwanda and Uganda offer equally good chances of seeing the gorillas. 99% of visitors who go trekking will find them in either country, but where to go is hugely dependent on budget and what kind of holiday you usually enjoy. Uganda is typically for more adventurous travellers, whereas Rwanda is for those who want to trek the gorillas from the comfort of a luxury lodge. The cost of gorilla permits is wildly different between the two, from $700 per person per trek in Uganda to $1,500 in Rwanda, which means that cost is usually the deciding factor. The gorilla trekking experience in Rwanda and Uganda is identical. All gorilla treks start at the respective park headquarters at 7am sharp, so you must be in the area the night before in order to start the trek. Before the trek begins, the guides will do their best to sort trekkers into appropriate groups based on age and fitness level, with those deemed most capable trekking further up the mountain. Trekking lasts anything from about an hour all the way up to about eight hours, and all groups get one hour with their gorilla family. Historically, Rwanda was the place to go to see the gorillas. The logistics are simple and the country is very easy to get around. After arriving into Kigali International Airport, it is just a three-hour drive to Volcanoes National Park. Permits are now a staggering $1,500 per person per trek, and so Rwanda tends to cater only to the higher end of the market and accommodation is also expensive and luxurious. Options start with Virunga and Sabinho at around $1,000 per person per night and jump, both in luxury and price, to lodges such as Quitonda and Bisate, both at $1,600 per person per night. Aside from the gorillas, Rwanda has a lot to offer. The country has managed to recover and flourish after its traumatic recent history. And so visiting the many museums and memorials is the key to understanding the country. If you haven't had your fill of primates and you can trek with chimpanzees in the Yungwe Forest or head up to Akagera National Park, which is fast becoming seriously good for big game safaris. Gorilla trekking in Rwanda is easy to combine with an East Africa safari with daily flights direct to and from the Serengeti. Moving on to Uganda. Uganda is more off the beaten track and being a much bigger country, the logistics are more complicated. Unlike Rwanda, it is not possible to pop in and out and see the gorillas in just a couple of days. That said, the gorilla experience is equally fantastic and much more affordable. Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park is a long way from Entebbe International Airport, and although it can be driven, we highly recommend catching an internal flight to either the southern or northern side of Bwindi after an overnight in Entebbe. Mahinga National Park also has a solitary gorilla family that can be trekked. However, we recommend skipping this as there's only one family here and many in Bwindi. Accommodation is far cheaper than in Rwanda and the level of luxury does not go up to the standard of Rwanda's finest lodges. Nikaringo Bwindi Gorilla Lodge is a very friendly mid-range lodge at about $300 per person per night. Whilst at the top end, Clouds and Sanctuary Gorilla Forest Camp are both about $700 per person per night. With permits costing $700 per person per trek, it is easy to see why a Uganda trip adds up to a lot less than the Rwandan equivalent. Aside from gorillas, Uganda has much more on offer. There are several great safari areas. Queen Elizabeth National Park, the super remote and untouched Kidepo National Park, as well as Murchison Falls National Park. Chimpanzees can be trekked in a few areas too, with the main one being Kibali Forest. Adventure really is the name of the game in Uganda. If you want to track lions with park rangers, you can, and if you'd rather canoe across a lake instead of driving to get to your next destination, we can probably arrange it. As with Rwanda, it is easy to fly from Uganda into Tanzania or Kenya for a safari before or after your trek. 
All in all, the country you choose is wholly dependent on your budget, what else you would like to experience whilst in East Africa, and whether you prefer luxury or off-the-beaten-track adventure. We hope this little explanation has helped. If you are stuck, please do give us a call to discuss your plans and one of our experts will be delighted to help you out.